Hi, my name is Sam Diaz. I'm a film composer, and this is my review on the M Audio Hammer 88 MIDI controller. Now, this review is basically a first impressions review. It's not a technical, detailed, you know, breakdown of everything that has to do with this controller. This is basically just my initial um, reactions to it. I just received it yesterday. Uh, I didn't have a chance to play with it until today. So you're going to be basically discovering things as I'm discovering them. So uh, without further ado, here's my um, initial responses to the Hammer 88 MIDI controller. All right, so here's the controller. Uh, a couple of things to note about it. Um, <clears throat> it's actually tucked under my desk. So this is actually the entire controller here. And we have the volume, master volume here, modulation wheel here, pitch. And then we have a couple buttons here, which uh, originally, you know, the, the default setting on these are to change programs, you know, like CC volleys and whatnot. But um, using the software editor, which I won't get into because Quite honestly, I just learned how to use it like a couple minutes ago. But um, I was able to uh, modify this to octave, um, you know, to switch octaves up and down. Um, and it's working great. Um, if you want more information on that, I mean, if you look at the software editor, it's really straightforward. Um, you just have to kind of like just uh, play, around with, play around with it a little bit, but it's very straightforward. Now I'm gonna tuck this back under. And one thing I do want to mention is that these, uh, look closely here these uh, wheels are very very smooth and they're very large too you know they have a little grip here and the pitch bend is very very responsive you know has that kind of like snap back to zero volume uh, it happens really quick and it's I, I don't know I don't, I don't lose grip on it so it's great and then there's also this little area here which is like um, uh, it's, it's kind of like a rest for the hand that it's just it just feels great you know uh, when I when I go to use it and stuff, I just rest my hand right here, and it's just very very comfortable to me for me to use. The other thing to note is that the, the there is a little bit of noise on these uh, keys. I'm actually gonna mute everything. It's not like super loud, but I, I have read some reviews that it's you know like really quiet key bend, and it's relatively quiet compared to other. Uh, piano, you know, pianos and uh, controllers that are weighted, so I will give it that. I'm gonna go ahead and play some demos, and you can actually, see, you'll see yourself what are the good things and the bad things about the controller, what it's good for and what it's not good for, you know, like, you're gonna notice that on drums and bass, it's not as, it's not gonna be as smooth as on, um, you know, playing a piano patch, uh, but well, I'll let you decide that for yourself.
So as you can see, there are a lot of pros and cons to this controller. Some of the pros are that the keys feel great. They feel very similar to an acoustic grand piano. And I play, I play a lot on the Yamaha uh, G1 grand piano. So I have that to compare to and it feels very, very similar. It has that woody response that grand pianos have. And when you go to play scales and whatnot, it just feels, um, it feels smooth. It's not sluggish or anything like that. So I really appreciate that about this controller. It's a very sturdy controller. It's, um, it's just, it's, it almost feels like it's built like a tank, you know, it's, and the mod wheel and the pitch uh, control on it are amazing. The mod wheel specifically has a lot of, lot of headroom that you can play with, especially if you're playing virtual instruments and string patches and whatnot, where you want the modulation to just really flow. I mean, I haven't felt the modulation wheel that feels as good as this one now when it comes to cons there are a couple of them not many but i think the one that stands out the most is the repeated notes when you go to play drums or bass or or just brass lines for example fast repeated trumpets when it comes to that kind of stuff it is a little bit sluggish it just doesn't pick up everything and um, when I play in a semi-weighted uh, controller like the key station 88 it picks up everything it's faster but then again, um, semi-weighted controllers, I don't get as inspired as I do on a weighted controller. I think if you're looking for a great controller that has great feel, it's sturdy, and it, it's, uh, it's um, you know, the velocity responses are very, very accurate, then I would heavily recommend this controller. It's definitely worth it for the price range, you know, for $399, that's what I paid for it. It's definitely worth it. Also, if you enjoyed any of my compositions that you heard in this video, make sure to check out my website down below that has a lot of my music and projects that I've worked on, and I will be posting some more music to this channel as well. So guys, keep making music. Thank you for watching this, and have a great day.